Hi guys, so I wanted to do a video today on how I got a 4.0 in nursing. Now, I'm not making this video in order to try and brag or like put people down if they didn't get a 4.0 or won't get a 4.0 in nursing school. Honestly, I know so many great nurses that just didn't do super well in nursing school, but they're a great nurse at the bedside on the job. So don't take this in a negative way, just take it as it is. But on the same hand, why not strive to try and do your best in nursing school, whether that's getting a 4.0 or not. So yes, I got a 4.0 in nursing school. I worked my butt off and I wanna kinda of give you some of the tips that I used to get a 4.0 in nursing school. The first one is, I did not procrastinate. I was an anti-procrastinator. I've always been that way. And I just never did assignments at the last minute or turned things in at the last minute because I just didn't want to risk not getting it done. And I wanted to have enough time to make sure my assignment was correct and the best that I could do. And I know some people thrive off of being a procrastinator and like they can do things last minute and do well on it. But for me, I always studied ahead of time, did my assignments ahead of time. I was that person in nursing school that everyone like hated because they'd be like, oh, I have to do my paper tonight. Ashley, have you started? And I'd be like, yeah, I have a little bit. And they're like, what, you already turned it in? And I'm like, yes, I've turned it in. <laughs> so, but it's not a bad thing to be that way and don't let people judge you for being that way. Everyone has their different methods of studying, but personally, if you really wanna just try and do your best, then study ahead of time and when you finish like studying for exam one and take the test and you're beginning to study for exam two, don't just let all that information from exam one go out of your head to make room for exam two. Keep studying exam one's information as you go along so when you get to the final, you don't really have a whole lot of studying to do because you've been studying and not procrastinating this whole time. My next tip is to stay organized. I actually have a planner. I've said this in several videos, but however you stay organized, whether it's um, an app on your phone or the calendar on your phone or you have a planner that you write in, write down every assignment, every due date, every clinical date, so that way you don't miss anything. It's so silly to miss easy points because you turned in a discussion board late or you turned in an assignment late or you forgot to show up to clinicals an hour earlier because you didn't write it down on your calendar mixed up the time so write down those things stay organized it's only going to benefit you when you become a nurse at the bedside to have this organization already down not necessarily like you're not going to have a planner at work but you are going to organize your patient assignments based on priorities and what's going on who's sicker um, who has the most medications or who has a dressing change things like that you're going to be writing things down checking them off and making sure that you get things done. I'm obviously very type A if you couldn't tell. I do like to have things organized in line and I know a lot of nurses are this way. Some are not, but if it works for you, then great. The next thing that I did to get a 4.0 is I just worked my butt off, honestly. Like I just worked super, super hard and I have this mindset of I'm gonna study the hardest that I can. I'm gonna do everything that I can so that when I walked into my test, I knew that I did everything that I possibly could to study for that test. So if I got a B on it, well, then I got a B on it. But I studied the best that I could. And that really helped with my anxiety because I feel like a lot of test anxiety comes from like people that show up are like, oh my gosh, I wish I, I forgot to read this chapter or I wish I would have read more. I wish I would have done this more. And at the end of the day, like you only have so much time. You're going to do your best that you can, and that's got to be good enough. And so that was my mindset. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to study and just going to leave it all on the table when I go in to take my test. So I hope that gives you guys a little insight on some tips for getting a 4.0. Again, it's not necessary to get a 4.0 in nursing. It's great if you can. It looks great on resumes if you can say you got a 4.0, but at the end of the day, there's many great nurses that didn't get 4.0s. There's many great nurses that failed their NCLEX the first time. It doesn't mean that you are a bad or a good nurse if you don't get a 4.0 or if you do. So I hope you guys like this video. Give it some give it some thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.